Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial we're gonna be continue uh, we're gonna continue working on the car application. So we'll go ahead and just open it up here. We'll wait for it to prepare this, prepare the solution. Okay, so if you remember from the previous tutorials, um, we created the form that will allow users to add cars to their list. Now what if they want to hit cancel and not add a car? Well, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that today. And if none of this is familiar to you, you might want to go back and start from the beginning of the series. So what we need to do is let's come over here to our new car.vb um, class. And we need to create a variable. So we'll just call it um, bool create as and we're gonna make it a balloon and we're gonna go ahead and set it equal to false uh, at the beginning and now let's come down here to the um, button add car uh, event handler and if they click the button uh, add right here it's gonna go ahead and add their car to the list so we'll just type bool create equals true so if they click add it's gonna be equal to true but if they click cancel, let's go ahead and type me dot close. We don't have to set the value to false because it's already false. So let's go back here to form one dot vb, and you can see here that when they create a car, or that's not it. Uh, let's do button create car right here. Okay, so when they click create car, it's going to go ahead and do all of this stuff right here. Now, let's go ahead and add an if statement right underneath add new car dot show dialog. So if add new car dot bool create is equal to true, then we want to go ahead and create this new car. So we'll just end if right here. So it's only going to run if that is equal to true. Now what we can do is let's just take all this code right here and we will copy it or we'll cut it. Control X. And let's just go ahead and paste it under create car. So now we have taken this and put it in another sub so that we can call this sub wherever we want and it's not limited to only in button create car. So we'll just type create car. and we need an E right there. So whenever they click that, it's going to create a car. So we'll go ahead and run this and see if it works. So we'll click new car. We'll set the name of the car to um, GMC Tahoe. We'll set the color to green. The number of doors will be 5. And the horsepower will be, let's just say, 200. We'll go ahead and click add. And you can see that we have our Tahoe right here, and we can get the info of it. Now we'll create another car, and this car we'll call it um, Honda Civic. We'll set the color to uh, blue. Set the number of doors. Let's just make it a two-door, and we'll set the horsepower to 180. And if we click Cancel, you can see that it does not add our car to the list because it um, the boolean value is set to false and because it was set to false it's not going to complete that operation so go ahead put this code in, code in if you haven't uh, it's very simple you can play around with it change it uh, I encourage you to change it to see what you can do to make the program better and then once you've done that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial